Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we're going to talk about cardiovascular examination. And as we start in each examination, we have to introduce ourselves, take the permission from the patient, wash our hand, ensure the privacy, and come from the right side of the patient. So, Khairayan, Khair Khalis, Mag the Podcast of Shamani, Khalif Khalif Khalif. If you want to take a look at the guy, we'll be able to take a look at the guy. So, first of all, we have to do a general inspection. So I will stand here to take a good view. And I have to comment about appearance. So the patient appears well. The body belt seems to be normal. The color of the patient is normal. There is no jaundice or cyanosis. The patient is not distressed. There is no tachypnea. And he's not connected to any IV line or false catheter or oxygen mask. After that, we have to take the vital signs and after the vital signs we have to start our examination from the hand. So So first of all we will look to the nails and in the nails we will look there is no cyanosis and also there is no splinter hemorrhage and to look for clubbing I will look if there is in the diamond here so we need diamond manage okay this means there is no clubbing of fingers. Then I will look here for tendon zanth matter. There is no tendon zanth matter. Managed to bring it the killer. I will look for the band of the hand. I will compare. There is no palmar erythema. There is no genuine lesion or ulcer wound. It's a little bit rare, but we have to comment about it. Then we will go to the radial pulse. In the pulse, we will comment about five things. First, the weight, and we talk it from the vital signs. Then the rhythm. So we have here a regular rhythm. Then the radio radial delay. There is no radio radial delay. Then we have we have to, to do the radio femoral delay. And after that we have to comment about the character and the volume. But the character and the volume it's best to be assessed either in the brachial artery or in the carotid artery. So we will Balbate the, the brachial artery, but how? Here there is a biceps tendon, just medial to the biceps tendon, we will find the brachial artery. So the brachial artery, normal volume, the normal character, we have to compare both sides to look if there, if there is any reduced volume. After that, we will look to the face. Okay. First, in the face, we have to take permission with each step. So, not my Ryan Shukhanis, the Manish Pala Rock. Okay, there is no jaundice in the sclera and no pyrrhic in the conjunctiva. Around the eye, there is no xanthalisma. There is no what's called the metal face. So, after that, you will look to the mouth. Let's not hear the Ryan Shukhanis. Okay, I will look for three things. I will look for, there is no central sinus in the tip of the tongue. I will look for mouth hygiene. And for the teeth, because of the risk of infective endocarditis, I will look for the, the palate. There is no high arched palate because of the risk of Marfan syndrome. After that, we will go to the neck. In the neck, we will look for two things. There is a carotid artery and the GVB. The carotid artery is a reflection of the left side of the heart and the GVB is a reflection of the right side. So first we will start with the carotid. Let's move in the area. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Okay. We will we will listen with the with the bell of the stethoscope. After that we will palpate. So we have here the, the carotid uh, cartilage, just lateral, we will find the carotid artery and then we will release our hand and press the other side. Okay, it's normal and equal in volume and normal character. It's contraindicated to feel both carotid arteries in the same time. After that we will look for JVB. So to measure the JVB, we have to put the patient on 45 degrees and we will ask the patient to turn his head to the other side just slightly 
and we will shine some light trying to see a visible pulsation okay then we will bring two rulers we will put the first one vertical above the sternal angle and the second one we will use this ruler the vertical one to measure the elevation and the second one on the upper border of the pulsation so it's one and a half here which is normal there is a very important question which is what is the difference between arterial pulsation and venous pulsation the first one the venous one is flickered twice and it's visible net palpable and if we obliterate the vein it will be filled from above and the last one it, it decreases with inspiration. This is normal, decrease with inspiration. If it does not increase, this is what's called cosmal sign. And it comes with, uh, for example, uh, cardiac tamponade and constrictive pericarditis. So now we will start our recording examination. First of all, we have to put the patient on the right position, 45 degrees, and we have to do the right exposure from up till the umbilicus. So now we will start with inspection. First of all, the shape. So the shape is normal. There is no bictus craniatum, bictus cavatum. Uh, there is no scars, no ster uh, median sternotomy or lateral thoracotomy. Uh, we have to look to the apex bit now. Uh, then we will go to the palpation. In the palpation, we will start to palpate the apex bit, starting from the sternal angle, opposite to the sternal angle there is the second intercostal space then we will count the third the fourth and the fifth we will put our hand in the mid-clavicular line okay I'm feeling the apex beat now so now we have to comment so I feel the apex beat in the fifth lift intercostal space in the mid-clavicular line it's a uh, normal character it's one pi one centimeter. Uh, after that, we will do uh, we will palpate for thrill. The definition of thrill is a palpable murmur. So we will we will palpate the the areas of the valves. There is many ways either to do it like this to to palpate the mitral with the tricast, then to go to the pulmonary, then to the aorta, or to take it two valves, then two valves. After that, you will palpate for the heave, which you do it like this, to put your hand like this. And in case of, uh, if there is right ventricular enlargement or left atrial enlargement, you will feel the impulse raising your hand. Okay, after that, we will do the auscultation. In auscultation, we have first to start with the belt. So, we will start in the, in the apex area or in the mitral area with the belt with light pressure. This is to hear or to listen for S3 and mitral st stenosis murmur. Then we will go to the diaphragm. So we will listen here in the mitral area. Then we will go to the tricasp area. After that to the pulmonary and then to the aortic area after that we have to comment now so there is a normal S1 and S2 normal heart sound S1 S2 there is no extra heart sound S3 S4 there is no audible murmur let's suppose that there is a murmur for example in the mitral area so we have now to, to comment about the murmur first of all we have to 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 know the time of the murmur, is this systolic or diastolic? So we have to put our hand while listening in the carotid to feel it's systolic or diastolic. So after that, we have to comment. So we will say that there is an audible murmur in the mitral area. It's a mid, mid diastolic with grade, for example, three. There are six grades for, for the murmur. And uh, we will look for radiation. Radiation, we will look here. We will hear in the axillary area for radiation and we will hear also in the carotid.
So now we have to examine the back. In the back, we look for three things. First of all, we have to do the percussion on the base of the lung. Okay, there's a resonance. And after that, we have to, to listen if there is any crepitation. Okay, after that, we will look for sacral edema. To look for sacral edema, we have to press for 10 seconds. Okay, there is no sacral edema. To complete our examination, we have to do respiratory system examination, and we have to do abdominal examination to look for hepatomegaly, splenomegaly, and ascites. And last thing is lower limb edema. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.